teaching a Tailslindian Gardens and Elysian Siemens teacher. Adorable bat. There are pets and their pets. There are dogs like my golden retriever named Sasha and cats like Cuddly Kitty and Avian that you can play with and pet. You can train the parakeet to sit on your finger. There are bunnies that you can cuddle. There are adorable little chips that grow up into big ferocious strutting roosters. Then there are goldfish, quiet, shy goldfish. You can't play with them, of course. All you can do with goldfish is watch them swim, admire how beautiful and graceful they are, and feed them. That was fine with Mau Mau, because he is fond of Dorothy, after Elmo's goldfish. But Dorothy wasn't necessarily supposed to be just Mau Mau's bet. But that's how it worked out. The other members of the family, including Serena Murphy, one of Mau Mau's caregivers, were on friendly terms with Dorothy, but it was Mau Mau who took care of the little goldfish. Not that Dorothy needed all that much care. Mau Mau would feed Dorothy twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening. Oh Dorothy, I just wondered how you look beautifully and swam gracefully. I feel very surprised. Wow! You did a great underwater dance to get the food. I just love feeding you. Well now, no wonder your fish has so many things to do. Well, Badger Clops, it's okay. I always change Dorothy's water and clean her bowl every day. I would carefully scoop Dorothy out of her bowl with a little cloth scoop and put her in a glass of clean water. Then I would sponge out the bowl, fill it with clean water, and put Dorothy back in her bowl. But sometimes, Dorothy will look so lonely, all by herself in her bowl. Hey Mau Mau, even though I wanted to stop by, I got some colored pebbles from the backyard brook. Wow! I love it. Thanks Combo Panda. Now I need to wash them off and carefully drop them into Dorothy's bowl. You know they look very nice as they settle at the bottom. Dorothy will seem to like them. She will swim around and explore them with her nose. The pebbles are white, pink, gray, and lavender. And you know they will set off Dorothy's orange gold color beautifully. Hey Sone. Yes Mau Mau. That castle would be just right for Dorothy. Well, I know that Dorothy can rub her nose against her bowl. And even though it is a good idea, Dorothy will seem very much at home in her pebble-lined bowl and her beautiful new castle. I also like it when Dorothy does her underwater dance and nip at the fish food you give her from time to time. The next day. Oh dear oh dear oh dear. Leanne, Kimberly, and Corey. Would all of you ladies please come here a minute? What do you think, Serena? What do you think, Serena? What do you think, Serena? What do I think? Ladies, I think Dorothy has passed on to the big underwater castle in the sky. Oh my oh my. Mau Mau will be heartbroken, just like in Bayo Bayo's revenge after the flashback where Mau Mau loses his tail. Yes, Mau Mau's mighty fond of that little fish. What should we do? HMM. I think I have an idea. Why don't I rush over to the pet store and get another goldfish, one that looks exactly like Dorothy. It shouldn't be too hard. They all look pretty much alike. That way nobody will be the wiser or wisest, like the wise owl, and poor Mau Mau won't be crying his eyes out and one of Darren's friends or anyone else Darren knows will console him over that. You know, Serena. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. For one thing. That one. No, not that one. The one next to it. That's definitely not Dorothy. That is Ada from Fish. 
I can tell because Dorothy had a tiny pink spot under her chin and a tiny blue spot under her tail, and this fish absolutely doesn't. Where's my Dorothy? Where is she? Now, Mau Mau, I hate having to, to tell you this, but while you were downtown with the Mycene girls yesterday, poor Dorothy died and... And where is she? She's in a safe place, Mau Mau. And who's this fish? Well, Serena, Leanne, Corey, and I knew how upset you'd be about Dorothy, so Serena thought it might be a good idea if she went to the pet store and got another fish, one that looked like Dorothy, one from Elmo's world, and, well, you know. Yes, I know, Serena tried to fool me, and it's not right to try to fool someone about a thing like this. Gee, don't be too hard on Serena, Mau Mau. She was just thinking of you. I know, Hamper. You know, Mau Mau, Dorothy live a happy life. Goldfish aren't meant to live very long. You took good care of her and she was a good fish. I know, can I keep the hanky? Yes. I have an idea. You know those boxes that the kitchen matches come in? Could you, Angela, put the matches in something else and let Mau Mau have the box? Nope. The kitchen matches stay in the box, but I have a small box that might I make a model cars from Japan come in. That's okay, Badger Clops, I will have that small box instead. Anyways, let's put Dorothy in that box and head for the back door. Oh God, who gave us birth, you are ever more ready to hear than we are to pray. You know our needs before we ask, and our ignorance in asking. Give to us now your grace, that as we shrink before the mystery of death, we may see the light of eternity. Help us to live as those who are prepared to die. And when our days here are accomplished, enable us to die as those who go forth to live, so that living or dying, our life may be in you. May Christ who rose from the dead, our true God, moved by the intercession of his spotless mother and of all the saints, place the soul of his departed servant in the tabernacles of the just, may he lay him to rest in the bosom of Abraham, numbering him among the just, and may he, who is both good and kind, have mercy upon us. Amen. Incline thine ear, O Lord unto our prayers, wherein we humbly pray thee to show thy mercy upon the soul of thy servant, whom thou hast commanded to pass out of this world, that thou wouldst place him in the region of peace and light and bid him be a partaker with thy saints. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, whose days are without end, and whose mercies cannot be numbered, grant that the solemn services of this day may make us deeply sensible of the shortness and uncertainty of human life, and of the transitory nature of all earthly things. O God, whose mercies cannot be numbered, accept our prayers on behalf of thy servant and grant him an entrance into the land of light and joy, in the fellowship of thy saints. Through Jesus Christ thy Son our Lord, who liveth and regneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies, thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. My father's house has many rooms, if that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. A time to be born and a time to die. There is a time to weep, and a time to laugh. First earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. God himself will be with them, he will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more, mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep to meet the Lord in the air and so he will always be with the Lord. Those who walk uprightly enter into peace, they find rest as they lie in death. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any affliction with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we 
too, might walk in newness of life. You know Badger Clops, Adora Bad, Tom Keys, Serenade, Leanne, Kimberly, Eri, Darren, Riley, Asher, Sabrina, Christina, Imogen, Diamond Leaf, Sophie, Hamper, Ellie, Better, Angela, Dharma, Gemma, Tom, Ben, Hank, Ginger, and Becca. I got to be good friends with Dr. American Eagle, also known as Dr. Eagle, but I never forgot Dorothy, a namesake fish from Elm's World fam. We all know that, Mau Mau. Here are the steps when you lose a friend next time. 1. Have a simple funeral like we did, nothing fancy, just a family gathering when your pet is laid to rest. Everyone can take turns saying something about the loss. 2. Draw a picture of your pet and hang it on the wall of your room. 3. Make a scrapbook of photos of your pet. 4. Visit the pets at an animal shelter, if you or loved one are old enough, volunteer to help out. 5. Write an essay about your pet for school or work. 6. Get another pet and give it lots of love and attention. Bonus, invite a dozen friends. Well, you invited more than a dozen friends, like us, which is a total of 17 people, which is more than enough. Next time, do a dozen friends of yours, or less, like all the girls have which in my scene. Just like the street lights lit this town Like a fire in a blaze, gotta burn it down Can't be afraid to leave this out We got this far, don't know how Is over. But it doesn't have to be. Click on the subscribe button and hit the bell button to get notified for every video we produce on a certain day.